Hello and welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner. Today we're covering section 7.2 of Sergey Lang's Basic Mathematics. And in this section, it's a little bit different from all the others. We're going to actually do a little bit of calculus, limits in particular. But we're going to try to find the circumference of a circle of radius r. Um, we've already assumed, or we've kind of proven in the last section, that the area of a circle of radius r, and my handwriting is terrible, I'm holding the book in the left hand, I shouldn't do that. Let's just hold it over here like this, so I can hold the paper at the same time. Just like that, yeah. The area of a circle of radius r is pi r squared. And pi is the area of the unit circle. So whatever you choose to be your one, if you have a circle with a radius of one, then the area of the unit circle is pi. So we're gonna take, when we dilate that circle, we're gonna multiply the area by the dilation factor squared. That's what we learned about dilating area. So we're going to learn about the perimeters. The perimeter of a circle is called the circumference. And we're going to show that the length of a circle, okay, the circumference of a circle with radius 1, C1 means a circle of radius 1, is 2 pi. And a circle of radius r is going to be 2 pi r. And exercise 1 is really fascinating. I encourage you to go do that right now. Um, I'm not going to do it for you. I'm not going to draw the pictures of the pizza pies. But what I am going to do is show you how these numbers progress. Okay, so let's break it down. So if we had a circle of radius r, so radius r, and inside that circle, we created n triangles. We're basically taking the pizza and cutting it into n slices. And in a pizza slice has that curved bit at the end. We're going to cut that curved bit off and make a perfect triangle. Okay, we're going to go from point of intersection with the circle to point of intersection and cut that pizza off. Okay, so each so there's going to be 360 over n degrees right here. That's 360 over n degrees inside that little angle there. Okay, and then we're going to have let me draw this triangle bigger. So this is the center of the circle. This is 360 over n degrees. That's a measure of that angle there. We have a line that goes through. We're going to call that h of n. That's the height. And then this distance here, we're going to call that the base uh, n. So if we have n triangles, this is going to be different for each of those triangles. And um, we're going to join them all together into one giant pizza. And we're going to say that as n approaches infinity, that the sum of the areas of n triangles uh, which each one is one half the base of n times the height of n, right, is the same as the area of the circle. We're just going to say that. Uh, this is the calculus bit. Um, and it should be hard to convince yourself that this is true. As you draw more and more triangles inside that, that pizza, you're going to lose less and less of the pizza to the crust, right? So the area of a circle of radius r, the area of n triangles is going to be n times the area of each triangle, which is 1 half the base of n times the height width of nth triangle. And this is going to be pi r squared. And then we're going to have 1 half n b n h n okay at this point notice that this measure here n times b n that's the outer part of the as you get smaller and smaller triangulars so i'm going to draw a little arc here and so we're going to have let's say a triangle that goes like this and then there's going to be that part that we cut off if we draw if we subdivide that into two you're going to see that those two line segments get closer if we do that again it gets even closer still and we can keep subdividing that and it'll get closer and closer so this is the base of n of the n triangles. And as you get n and n larger, the base is going to get closer and closer to the edge of the circle. And so n times b n, that's going to be the circumference, right? After n triangles. Or he says perimeter, he uses p. Let's use p. Okay? So as n gets large, a n, so um, I'm sorry, I, I skipped ahead. a n approaches pi r squared as n gets large towards infinity. P n approaches the perimeter circumference. Okay, 
So let's put that into a formula. So we have pi r squared is equal to one half the circumference. And what does hn become? Oh, h n approaches the radius r. Okay. This this distance here from the the, the center to the the bottom of the base gets closer and closer to the edge. So this is r. So we can solve for p n. That's going to be equal to we multiply two on the other side. We divide by an r. And that is how we can conclude that the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r. Okay? Um, and this shouldn't be, there's a little bit of discussion he has about what happens when you dilate distances. So well, let's get distracted a little bit with that. So we have a right triangle, a big right triangle that's really just a small right triangle that decided to get bigger. So we had a distance here A and distance here B. And then we're going to stretch it out by a factor of R. So both sides are going to stretch out by a factor of R. The question is, what about this hypotenuse? If this is C, what is this? Well, we'd expect this to be RC, right? Right. So, um, uh, so we have, let's say we have P, Q, and we have O. We're going to call this point up here RP. You can't really multiply points by numbers but we're going to call it that. And so we have the distance of between P and Q. That's going to be the square root of A squared plus B squared. That's going to equal C. And then the square root of R squared A squared plus R squared B squared is going to be equal to RC. Okay, because this is RA squared, so that's R squared A squared. RB squared, so RA squared is R squared A squared and RB squared is r squared a squared, right? And then we can factor out that, so we get the square root of r squared times a squared plus b squared. And then we can say that this is the product of r times a squared plus b squared is equal to rc. And indeed, these are equal because this is c. So we just proved proven that the triangles stretch the way that we expect them to. Pretty uh, not very difficult to prove. Last little bit is he starts off the section with a discussion about let's say we had some arbitrary path right that isn't a straight line and what we can do is we can approximate this path by cutting it into segments like this and then between these segments we can draw straight lines and these straight lines don't quite line up perfectly with the curve but as the, we cut it into a larger and larger number of segments we will approach the true length of this and this is really what calculus is all about so when you study calculus you're going to learn um, how to use this to, to calculate all kinds of pretty cool things that um, normally you can't calculate. If you're familiar with Zeno's paradox, um, Zeno's paradox basically says you can't do infinity. You can't do it. You can't walk an infinite number of steps no matter how small the steps are. But calculus shows that, yeah, you can walk an infinite number of steps. We do it all the time. Um, it, it, the, you have to understand how it tends towards infinity, what happens when you get close to infinity and things that happen there. Next part is coordinate geometry, part three. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You are roughly, well, I'd probably say three-fifths, no, two-fifths of the way through the book. So congratulations, doing a good job, keep it up. Hopefully at, at, this at this point in your math, you feel like you're flying. You feel like you've lost sight of the ground. You don't remember where you came from, but you know where you're at, and you're able to keep building these, these castles in the sky from um, you know the bits of stuff, this imagination that, and somehow these things all work together, and that's that's the beautiful thing about math is, is ultimately you can track it down. Like where what are the assumptions that you started with? Where did it go? And you're able to build fantastic things. Anyway, anyway, guys, take care and bye bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is part of a series on Sergey Lang's basic mathematics. You can catch the playlist over here, and you can find out how to support my channel over here. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye bye.